All right, uh, today, at least for right now, what we're gonna work on is the squeaky clutch pedal in this thing. So the first thing we're gonna do is go after the, uh, there's a panel under here. But you gotta, you gotta get the panel out of the way so that you can get to the top of the clutch pedal assembly there. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Just a few screw, screws. Screw there. Yeah. Screw there. Yeah. And there's one on this side. Yeah, one over there where he's at. Yeah, I'm and pretty sure that's everything. Maybe so, I think there's a clip like in the back that it, it just, slides it, it into. It slides into yeah. like a little, like a little clip back in there. Anyway, we're gonna do that so that we can get to the top of this pedal assembly, and then we'll uh, work on uh, disconnecting the, the pedal from the assembly and get these bushings in. So there you go. Sucker came right out of there. So that's that. A little bit of duct tape. Right. Like tin foil. Tin foil and duct tape. Okay. Well, you never know what you got going on. Electrical tape, not duct tape. Yeah, right. Old 80s installation or installation. Insulation, yeah. It's it's old, but hey. This was to fix a crack. Oh yeah, look at that. It's warm. Oh, there's a date. 27th of April. 87. Yeah. Flip that around and show you there. Get the shade off of the there you go. So that's original equipment. A couple mm -hmm. uh, patchwork things on it. We'll look at those before we put it back and make sure we don't need to uh, reinforce that stuff. But All right, we'll get that out of the way and then we'll dig down in there on the pedals. Okay, now that we got that thing out of the way, um, now what we got to go after with this clutch pedal is up here at the top. It's kind of hard to see uh, exactly what we got to do on camera here, but there's some clips and some other stuff. Uh, obviously, the wire's in the way. We're going to do the brake pedal while we're up here, too. Um, it doesn't seem wiggly or anything, but while we're in here doing stuff, it's uh, supposed to be easier than the, than the clutch because there's just less stuff attached to it. So we're going to do those bushings too. You can see the uh, brake light switch there and stuff. So we're going to do all that stuff and uh, hopefully get rid of the squeak. Okay, so... We are uh, down here looking at what we got to do. We looked at some videos online, and they don't uh, they don't match up with what we're trying to accomplish here. So, um, right there in the middle of the screen, just to the right of that spring, is a bolt. So on this particular setup, that bolt is what goes through. Sorry, steering shaft's in the way. Um, and that's down lower, but that bolt is what goes through right there. In the center of the screen is is where that bolt goes through that's the top of the brake pedal um sorry up there and that's what we need to work on so uh anyway we'll work on getting that that bolt which comes through here um goes through that there goes across all the way over here and you can see on this side uh i can't get my finger in there to point for you really but um anyway that bolt right there is the other end of that and so that connects the clutch pedal which you can see you know here's the top of that you see the master cylinder you just follow that across and uh, there it is and then around the corner there's the bolt so we're gonna go ahead and get that bolt loose and uh, it looks like it's just one whole rod uh, it comes all the way across from the brake pedal to the clutch pedal we will have to disconnect this spring We'll have to disconnect that clip to come away from the brake master cylinder. And then it looks like we will have to unbolt right up there the, uh, the clutch, I guess the slave cylinder, whatever that is, um, from the pedal as well so that we can slide the pedal all the way off, put the new bushings in, slide it all back together, bolt that back on. So it's definitely a different setup than the uh, E36. Um, maybe late model E30s have the same clutch pedal assemblies as uh, as um, a 36 and a 46. I don't know, but this is what we got going on in our car. So we're gonna get to work on trying to undo that that nut. See if we can slide the bolt out on this end. It's gonna be hard because I got to get it past all those uh, that wiring harness right there. We'll work on all that and see if we can get that done. 
and show you the pedals out. But we have um, that bolt, that like that bar right there. That's the bolt, but it's already like pulled out most of the way. And it's extremely difficult to get to in here because all that wiring's in the way. But how we did it is you disconnect your brake pedal from um, that thing where it's moving. You had to take uh, a clip out. And then this clutch right there, you had to just take a bolt and a nut out. And that disconnects those two. And then I think there's a spring on the brake pedal too. Yeah. Uh, that spring, kind of see it. That connected to it somewhere, I forgot where, but we'll find it. And then if you can kind of see like that bolt right there. You can see my finger. And there's four of them back there. All those. Sorry about the airplane. But four of them back there. You have to loosen the top ones. And then up there, you see those bolt holes. You have to take out two bolts from that. And that allows you to move the whole bracket enough that then this bolt right there will fit underneath the wiring harness because without moving it, it hits it and you don't want to mess up any of those old crusty wires. But that's the process for getting it out. Very annoying to get those bolts. Like that one right there in the left corner behind the brake pedal. I had to get a wrench and I couldn't even do it. My dad had to do it. Extremely annoying to get to. But now we just gotta pull this bolt out the rest of the way. I'll probably have to do that without the camera in my hand. But once you do that, the bushings should be in there along all those places. And then just put the new ones back in, or the new ones in. Put everything back together. And we should be done. Got brake pedal here. Taking out the bushing, but the bushing is different than the ones we have. Don't know if ours will still work. Right? Ours is just the end. These have like a whole tube through the center. I mean, I think it would work. As long as like everything fits between it. Really hard to get this out. First we did a screwdriver. Kind of messed up the end, but got it down a small bit. Tried to use like pliers to pull it out on this end. That's why it's all like bent up. But you got a socket right there fit in the hole, hammered it through, pushed it out. Uh, got the bushing out. Now we just gotta do the clutch pedal. Okay, well, so on the clutch pedal success, we got this thing out. Now, here's, I'm, I'm not quite sure how this is supposed to work out, and uh, I looked online again to make sure we weren't stupid, and I didn't find anything like this available to purchase. Everything I found was these little jokers. Um, I mean, you can get some brass ones too or whatever, but they're all this size pretty much. So, um, not real sure why they don't sell these. I did find these, or this, so you can buy another one of those if you need it. Metal piece, it goes yep, the metal piece, but not this. Anyway, this, the other thing, Breeze, if you look here, this is all... I don't know, blur it up. Because it has a flange like that on both ends. So essentially what we had to do was uh, get a screwdriver and just kind of mangle this end and fold it down inside of, I about threw that on the floor, fold it down on the inside and then get our socket and whack it and it came out the other side. So I guess if you're doing that, this uh, on the clutch pedal, you have to mangle one end and then uh, fold it inside of, the, of the, the tube and then beat it from the other end with a socket. On the brake pedal, it only had a flange on one side, so all we had to do was beat it with a socket. But anyway, we got those out. Now we're gonna work on getting uh, these new ones in here and uh, start putting this thing back together. Finish putting everything back together. Still got all 
this open because we're doing the uh, gauge cluster and you have to get under here, I'm pretty sure. But clutch pedal. No squeaking. So fixed our problem. Thing doesn't move side to side at all. Neither of them do. Worked out. Everything's fixed. No more squeaking. 